Hi, welcome everyone. Uh, we are back again with another Facebook Live episode from Conference of Cancer Centers of Nevada. I'm Dr. Rupesh Preet, and today we're going to talk about something a little different. Uh, we're going to talk about diet and cancer a little bit, uh, and we'll go over some guidelines and some myths uh, that we can hopefully uh, help alleviate some fears that people may have. Um, so we're going to talk about diet, and then I'll tell you a little bit about COVID statistics with it at the end, uh, because we're still in the COVID pandemic, obviously. So when we talk about diet, what, what is a cancer diet, right? That is the most common question we get asked. Um, a cancer diet is essentially a well-balanced, healthy diet. Um, it includes fats, it includes proteins, it includes carbohydrates. All three are very important to maintaining that balanced lifestyle. Um, I will tell you, and I will start by saying that there's no good data or diet that will cure your cancer. The most important thing that we need you to understand from a physician perspective or a provider perspective is that a balanced diet is key to your recovery while you're getting treatment and even after. So don't make any drastic changes to your diet initially. Because the worst thing, especially when you're starting treatment, is if you lose weight, that actually hurts us in terms of trying to balance everything in the body, the doses of your chemotherapy, etc. So try and eat healthy, a balanced diet, and try and focus on getting through the treatment first and then making lifestyle changes for later, obviously. So recommendations for diet. Again, as I said, there's no one diet that's better than another. But if you look at the American Institute of Cancer Research, they did a study and they looked at different types of diets that are out there. And there is a diet called what we call the New American Plate Diet. Um, and what that essentially reflects is it's a plant-based diet for the most part where two thirds of your plate is filled with vegetables or fruits, uh, along with whole grains. One third is filled with protein, preferably protein that you can eat uh, in terms of plants or vegetables or grains, but also white meat is also very good. Uh, we wanna limit the amount of red meat that you intake. Um, and the most important thing about the diet is you wanna limit uh, and avoid processed foods. Processed foods have known to be linked to cancer and diagnosis and treatments. So a plant-based protein diet is better. Um, avoid alcohol, avoid tobacco, obviously. Those things are not good for cancer and, and fighting it. Uh, but it's called the New American Plate Diet. You can Google it, you can look it up, uh, where then it's two-thirds plant-based protein and one-third um, uh, protein with meat or other protein substitutes. Um, people always ask me uh, when we talk about diet, um, the different types of diets that are out there. And one of the most important or frequent questions I get asked is, what about an alkaline diet? Um, well, an alkaline diet, there are some believe that the Western diet is rich in foods that are processed, that have refined carbohydrates or refined animal fats. Um, and these are acid-rich foods. And are those healthy or not healthy? Well, we do know that some of those foods can sometimes inhibit your antioxidant production, they inhibit uh, your immune system's ability to fight cancer. But there's very limited data to saying that reducing acid in your body reduces cancer risk as a whole. But what the diet does do is it helps us eat healthier. It focuses on eating more fruits and vegetables and rice-based products, uh, whole grain-based products. Um, so it does focus on eating healthier and in that sense, having an alkaline diet does help you. Um, what about a paleolithic diet? In the old days, people used to say that this diet was like the best thing in the world. The problem with that diet is it focuses heavily on red meat. And now these days, red meat is more often processed than not processed. So we don't usually recommend that as a good type of diet to help go through your cancer diagnosis. The other diet that we also uh, talked about is a ketogenic diet, which focuses more on fat rather than protein. Ketogenic diets usually go from 60 to 70% fat-based calories and 30 to 40% carb-based calories, carbohydrate-based calories. So what they're trying to do is shift the energy source of your cancer cells from glucose to ketones, essentially. Um, and then there's some limited research, MITS research in that, 
Uh, not heavily recommended by any major cancer society, certainly. But again, if you do it properly, it does make you eat healthier. It makes you eat those fruits and vegetables, plant-based foods, whole grains that are so important in helping fight cancer. Uh, the other diet, uh, vegan diet. You know, people always say, what about a vegan diet? It has cancer-fighting foods, certainly. Um, there's a lot of different types of vegan types of diet. But the problem with vegan diets is, especially in our Western society, is a lot of these foods now come processed. Even the fruits and vegetables that we buy at the stores, we buy them if they're frozen or not. Um, they are processed foods, and those are not usually good. They have other chemicals in them that we don't need. Um, the other thing that you risk by going completely vegan is that you can risk nutritional deficiencies, such as vitamin D deficiency, calcium deficiency, and B12 and folic acid deficiencies. And all those are critical in help fighting your cancer. So we usually tend not to recommend a purely vegan diet, per se. Um, lastly, macrobiotic diet. That's the late, latest craze that I've heard. Um, predominantly, again, vegetarian emphasizes unprocessed foods, as we talked about earlier. Um, low fat, high in fiber is where you get most of your calories from. And again, the thing about this diet is actually mirrors the American Institute of Cancer Research's American Plate Diet, as we called it, the new American Plate Diet, where it focused on eating healthier. Two thirds of your plate should be filled with plants and whole grains, one third with protein. The most important thing about diet that I think people really, really need to remember is flexibility is key. We don't want you losing weight while you're trying to fight cancer. We certainly want you to eat healthier, but don't make any drastic changes up front. Um, some of the important things we've learned about COVID in all of this, um, and I'll tie that in a little bit as we're still going through this pandemic, as if people have been home lately, um, uh, there's research that says that 30 to 40% of us are eating healthier at home. But on the other side of that is 20 to 30% are eating unhealthier at home. So does having COVID or that risk of COVID affect your diet? It shouldn't. The most important thing is to eat healthy, eat a balanced diet, uh, where most of it should be plant-based, whole grain-based, try and avoid red meat, avoid alcohol, uh, avoid tobacco. But don't make any drastic changes up front. And if you follow those guidelines, you'll get your treatment very easily, and it'll help us help manage your side effects and your symptoms. Thank you, and I'll open it up to see if anybody has any questions or thoughts or concerns, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, it looks like, uh, I think I, we, like I said, we asked some questions. Those are some of the questions that we originally had that we went through. Um, we'll wrap this session up. Certainly you can email us, Facebook us, chat us, look us up on Instagram, shoot us a question, and we'll be happy to answer it as soon as we get it. Uh, and review it. Um, I thank you for your time then. I hope this helps answer some questions that uh, in regards to budget that people may have had with cancer and their treatment and their diagnosis. Um, with that, I'll go ahead and uh, sign off. Thank you again. Uh, looking forward to our next Facebook Live session. Um, we'll try and cover different topics as we go along. If you have a topic that you particularly are interested in or want to cover, please let us know. Um, then Dr. Bushbreak from Comprehensive Cancer Centers of Nevada, signing off. Thank you.